Hey, what's up? It's me, Phil. And today I'm gonna show you how to reverse sanitize an undesirable effect out of a corruption. So here's the use case. You have a corruption that is good, but you have a problem. It crashes, or in this case, I have a uh, music corruption that will stop after 10 seconds. So I'm going to start it. As you can see, the time goes down and uh, there are effects in, in the song, but it's gone. There's no, there's no song anymore. So the way you would fix this, uh, because I'm going to start by opening the blaster, you have 70 units in there. One of them is causing the issue and you want to remove it. So you're going to start the sanitizing process and you're going to sanitize towards the effect you want to remove. I'm going to use fast forward to get this uh, faster. So we have the crash. The effect is present. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. No. No. Ah, one unit remaining. So this is the unit that causes the crash. AP RAM, address 687 value DA. What you want to do next is click on the button here called subtract result from original. And see, now I have 69 units. Nice. And if I load the corruption, I have all the effects that I had, but it will not crash because the problematic unit has been removed from the equation. So now you can send the corruption to your stockpile. And there you go. You have removed the crash. This can work for everything that you can sanitize. All you have to do is repeat the process until all the indesirable effects are removed. Sometimes uh, you might end up with a corruption that crashes. You fix the crash and there's another crash later. And you can repeat the same process to fix that. So hopefully that will help you make your corruptions better. Have a great day.